branch there. Damn it. <laughs> now, now there's this uh, story going around about this uh, woman who go to a gas station and, and all these gang members would come and get in their trunk and oh, I don't know they do something terrible like slash her a chili's tendon or something of that sort like in the ankle region then she couldn't run away and then they take off her body parts and I won't go into that <laughs> and uh, I think this story got started with the gang members always had uh, something on them like a knife or a meat cleaver or one of those exacto thingies or a uh, or a shaving razor, you know, something sharp like that, and, uh, and, uh, so they sit in the trunk, you know, at the gas station, and, and this, and then they come and get this woman, you see, and, and, and this rumor's been all over that internet thing, you know, and, uh, I don't know nothing real about it, but, but they said it got real specific, and that's why people believe it's true. They say in all cities all over the world, they talk about the gas stations like Sitco and Quick Stop. Now, I got Quick Stop right down the street. My wife owns it over down there, uh, down by uh, by uh, by the Quicken Mart, too. Uh, and uh, and so uh, in here, Des Moines, uh, the rumors even been spreading here, and I've been scared, but but I know it's not true because i never seen nobody in the trunk with an exacto knife or a meat cleaver. That's for sure. In the story, whether it be at the gas station or just the murder in the back seat where she's driving home, is always a woman, and it is it tends to be very sexist because the woman is always ignorant, as so if she has no idea what's going on, and she's always a victim, and the man is always a hero, whether you know her husband or the gas station attendant, and she never has any idea what's going on. She's completely aloof to the fact that she's about to be murdered, and it just makes women come off as as very ignorant and, and needing help from men all the time. several versions of the story. First time I heard it was in 1967. I must have been about eight years old, I guess. That's about as far back as I can remember. There's one story where this guy is driving behind this girl real close and she keeps flashing her lights. And the girl gets so scared when she gets home she almost kills him. But the guy says I was protecting you from a guy in the back seat. I don't want that to happen to me. And there's another story. Guys, this uh, girl actually She's at a gas station, and the guy, the attendant of the gas station, tells her to get out of her car and come with her into the into the pay area, the cashier area, even though she's already paid. The girl gets freaked out and starts beating on him. But he says, I've already called the police because there's a guy in the back of your car. I got a little sister, man, and those stories scare me. I don't want to be one.